You are in for it. You are in for it. to my channel hope you guys are doing well if this is your first time watching one of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber hey what's up how are you doing hope you are doing great hope you're doing well um so i'm just gonna jump right into today's video there's no time for dilly dallying i'm just gonna go straight into it and uh, basically a couple of days ago i posted on my Insta st instagram stories um i posted a poll on my instagram stories asking your opinion and thought about a situation that i had found myself and um, i really enjoyed the back and forth with people my followers on instagram really engaged with me and i also posed the question whether i should come on youtube and talk about it and you guys were like yes 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 we want to hear your opinion a little bit more about this so definitely like do a video so here i am in today's video and i'm going to put what i posted on instagram right here and uh, basically what it was was i found myself in a conversation whereby a newly married woman said that because she knew her husband so well she was ready for everything that could happen in her marriage and she also gave the example that because she'd seen him around kids she knew exactly what he was going to be like as a father and i'm just going to take a quick pause here and i'm just going to say that just because you've seen someone around other people's kids you know what they're going to be like as a father is a big fat no you don't know what you're going to be like with your kids no matter how much you've been around other people Oh, no matter how much you've been around other people's kids so basically my question is do you feel because you know your spouse so well that you can be ready for everything that marriage throws at you if you are a married woman or you're a single lady i want you to pause this video and answer this question in the comments i just want you to answer that question yes or no yes you can be ready for everything no you can never be ready for everything so pause this video right now and answer that question the first thing i said when i got i had this conversation the first thing i said was that girl you're delusional like you must think that everything in this world is black and white you're delusional because first of all as humans we grow we change we develop we evolve based on our circumstances based on our situations based on where we find ourselves we tend to mold around life like you're always going to have highs you're always going to have lows people change i am changing and i have been married for three years now i'm not claiming to be an expert when it comes to marriage or love or anything of the sort but i feel like i am changing i like i'm constantly changing so why why would i feel that my spouse is not going to change when you get married you begin to wear hats that you've probably never worn up until the time you get married you might have worn the hat of a, a sister um sister or a brother a daughter and maybe and a friend so those three want three hats you've worn but once you get get married you start wearing other hats you wear the hat of a wife you wear the hat of a mom if you do have kids you wear the hat of being an in-law a finance manager a a a, you a housekeeper you wear all this all these hats when you get married and you don't know how you are going to deal with that hat until you are in that situation so i don't personally i don't think it's you can ever be prepared for anything that everything no let me say anything everything that life is going to throw at you to a certain level you could be prepared you could have put things in place but when you are never going to know how you're going to react to a situation until you are in that situation so to tell me that because you know your spouse so well um before you got married and in the beginning of your marriage you feel like throughout your marriage you'll be able to um you'll be able to know what his reaction will be every single time in every situation that you're going to find yourself i personally believe that you're you're lying to yourself you're deceiving yourself and marriage doesn't work like that marriage is one of those things where you're constantly learning about yourself about your partner about your marriage about your relationship and you're constantly kind of working towards being a better person so if you're constantly working towards being a better person 
why do you want to stay the same throughout your marriage if your if your plan during your marriage is to grow to be better if the plan during your marriage is for you to be a better person for your spouse why do you why do you want to stay the same why do you think change is not going to happen why do you think that life isn't going to throw you some curveballs and i ended up saying that life will throw you certain things that you'll just be like Whoa, like where did that come from? You can't prepare for everything that life is going to throw at you. And she ended up saying that there's nothing that life can throw at. There's no curveball. There's no curveball that life can throw her. And I just thought to myself, girl, like there are so many unforeseen, un like imaginable things that happen within marriages. There's so many things that come up, so many situations that you'll find yourself and you probably you probably have an idea, don't get me wrong, you will have an idea of what the situation, how the situation might play out. But let me tell you, that is why you get people entering marriages and saying that their husband has changed. Well, duh, he's going to change. Because at the end of the day, when you become a husband or a wife, your priorities are going to change. The things that, you know, before you were courting, you were dating, you know, you were getting to know each other. Now you're married, you're in your space constantly, you have work, you're trying to build your finances, you're trying to build your home. You might not have time for certain things. And as a person, you need to be able to give that person that little bit of wiggle room. If your husband used to text you every single day, and you're necessarily your love language isn't like communication or anything like that, and he used to like text you every single day, and you find yourself in your marriage whereby you're constantly seeing each other, he might not need to text you every single day. And in that, he has evolved, he has changed. And I feel like if you don't prepare your mindset for things like this, you're going to get into your marriage and you're going to, that's when disappointment and resentment comes in because you haven't given your significant other a little bit of wiggle room. You haven't given them that little space to know that they're still kind of trying to find themselves. They're still trying to work on themselves. You haven't given them that space to wiggle because you believe that everything is straight. This is it, this is how it's gonna be. In life, you need to give that little bit of wiggle, that little bit of space for that person to evolve, to grow, to be better. And if you're not going to do that, you find yourself in a place where you are just constantly like, this, this you're not the person I married. Just because you've seen your husband with kids, with other people's kids, you feel like you know how he's gonna be with his own kid, it's different. There's, I know some guys that do not like other people's kids. They don't even wanna be around other people's kids. But when it comes to their own child, they don't play. So as, a, so as the wife, are you going to say that, oh, because he's not good with that person's child, he's definitely not going to be with, good with his own child? You need to look at other scenarios, other things. You need to consider other things that can change. People change. I, myself, I found that after I became a mom, my priorities changed. And will my husband now say that, oh, you've changed, or you're a different woman to the woman I married? Because I became a mother and things that were important to me were no longer as important to me. And in that, I have changed. The way I, I react to things have changed. The way, I, um, the way I relate with people has changed since I became a mom. So at the beginning of marriage, saying that you are prepared for everything, you are ready for everything, is you are just deceiving yourself. You are telling yourself a lie. Because marriage is one of those things where you have to work for it. And I'm not saying that it's because you have to work for it. It's like, who I'm sweating, I'm constantly like fighting somebody. Just because you have to work for something does not mean you cannot enjoy it. Because she gave the example that when her friend got married, um, when her friend got married, a lot of people told her marriage was going to be difficult, it's hard work, it's blah, de blah, de blah. And then she sees her friend now and her friend is enjoying a marriage. The first question me I had, because I'm, I'm that kind of person, the first thing I said was, how do you know that your friend is not lying? How do you know she's telling you the truth and she's not actually miserable in her marriage? And she was telling me that no, her friend will not lie about things like that. I said, yeah, the friend that you knew before she got married might not lie about something like that. But these are two fool people in this life, well, it's easy, it's so easy. And then the second thing that I said was that just because she's happy and everything is rosy does not mean she's not constantly putting the work 
into her marriage it just means that every single day you are consciously making the decision that your marriage is your priority and where you're going to put your focus meaning that I am going to enjoy my marriage regardless of what happens so in her marriage she might be going through certain things certain things might be happening but she's dealing with them and she's choosing to be happy in them when you have to work at something does not mean that you have to be miserable when someone tells you that marriage is work take it as enjoyable work work that you are going to love to do because you are building something with someone else when people ask me like what's the greatest thing about being married i always say to them that having someone to do life with having someone to build together to change together to grow grow being the key word to grow together and build something together like for me that's my greatest joy in marriage there's no doubt you're going to be faced with situations that you probably didn't plan for for me i didn't i didn't plan to um in my first year of marriage to have to go through such a big massive operation like a life-changing operation my husband and i had to navigate this new um this new situation together and i must say i cannot say in like in my wildest dreams i could have planned for the way the both of us reacted to that situation it's just the fact that you never know how you are going to react to something until you are in that situation you never know how you're going to react to it until you're there and you're faced with making that decision you never know what you can say that oh i'm going to do this i'm going to do that or you could have been doing this you could have been doing that until you hit that roadblock before you know exactly how you are going to react i'm not saying you can't know your partner i like at the moment there are certain things my husband do does that 99.9% .9 I can predict is reaction you need to leave room for that 0.1% that he might not react the way you assume he's going to react but there are certain things that will happen and I'm like I, I knew you were going to do that I, I knew it doesn't mean that was it was set in stone there are people that have been married for 10 years and they are still finding out things about their partner but i also think it's kind of unfair to assume that your spouse is going to stay the same throughout your marriage throughout like through the, it's unfair to assume that and to think that but putting pressure on that person to stay the way they are and not to evolve not to grow and not to be a better person telling me that in your marriage um that things are not going to change i think and things are going to remain the same forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever is delusional and working with the belief that you are ready for everything my dear you can be ready for some things that might happen in your marriage but you can't be ready for everything because the thing is even if you say you are ready and your partner is ready there is still a world outside that will that will unready you i don't think we can ever know everything like it's not possible for you to know everything life is all about learning life is all about learning new things we're constantly learning new things there was no change in her mind and it's one of those things that I don't think if you are if you're dead set on that mindset there's no changing your mind until um until you're actually in that situation so for this lady um all i can say is you you you're gonna learn today <laughs> i don't mean this in a negative way like i don't mean it in a way that oh you're going to be crying 10 years from now but what i'm saying is 10 years from now you're going to look back at where you have come from and where you are now and know that wow this is we're in a much better place we've grown together and that's basically what i'm trying to say yeah so i guess that's everything i had to say um for this video um and that's what i feel that's what i think but i really want to hear from you guys in the comment section i'll be in the comment section reading all of your comments and replying thumbs up for videos like this where i come on here and let you guys know what i feel on a certain topic um it's not usually the kind of video that i do but if you guys like it i will do more because i am always writing and raving to my husband and saying this 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 and i always have something to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys please subscribe subscribe yeah say hi